Okay, another mole day. Another mole lesson here. Uh, so far, you've went from grams. You went from grams, you can go to mole, right? And from mole, you can also go to particles, which is uh, atoms for elements. Remember, atoms for, for single elements. And then uh, molecules for molecular compounds. And then formula units for for ionic compounds. All right, so distinguish those from molecules. Again, you can always go to atoms, and we can take one more step to go to atoms. And so here on this page, you will find a summary of what you did on top up here. The mole is going to be in the middle. You can go to grams by using the mass of that compound. So if you have moles going to grams, moles can be on the bottom. Grams going to moles, going backward, grams is going to be on the bottom. So this is another way of, of, of showing you how to do those things. And the same thing here, moles going to, to molecules, then moles will be on the bottom. Here we start here, the moles go to the bottom. If we start with these over here, then this goes on the bottom. Again, whatever you start with goes to the bottom of the next one. So these involve two steps. So you're going to have what mass of atoms. So mass is the grams. Okay? We have atoms and we need to go all the way to grams. So we go like this. Atoms, mole, right? Mole is the middle step. And then grams is the last step. All right? So once you have that, you can draw your little gritty here, gritty majiggy here, like that. Three steps. How many atoms did we start with? 2.4 times 10 to the 24th atoms of zinc. So then atoms of zinc go down to the bottom of the next one. All right. Follow that pattern always. Whatever you start with brings to the bottom of the next one. How many atoms? 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd is equal to one mole of zinc. Then we have mole of zinc here. We can go one mole of zinc is equal to how many grams? And for grams, where do we always go? The periodic table. There it is. 63.4 grams. 63.4 grams of zinc. And that's it. Okay. All your units here will cancel out except for that last one, grams of zinc. So multiply the top. 2.4 times 10 to the 24th times 63.4 divide by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And remember when you divide by the bottom with 63, put parentheses around the 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. You need to do that or else you will get the wrong answer. You'll get something to, to the power of 47, 48. You know that you did not put parentheses. Okay? So that's that one. So what is the mass of that? So then the mass should be the last thing that you find. All right. Try and pause the video. Try number two. Try number two. And then continue because I will continue to show you number three right after this. So you need to pause it. Try number two first. And then go to number three. You should have gotten 11,944 grams of AU if you have done that correctly. Okay. So uh, check your answer with mine. And if you did it correctly, you should have gotten something like that. Okay. Number three here, we have 87 grams of neon. 87 grams of neon. We need to go to atoms. One more grams, we can go to mole. We have to go to mole next. And then we go to atoms. Leave yourself some space between so that you can, you can draw your grid. Moles of, grams of neon, we need to go to moles of neon. I'm going to write neon above it. And we go to atoms of neon. It's an element, so we go directly to atoms. Okay? So grams of neon needs to go on the bottom because that's what we started with so that we can cancel it out. Right? We put it on the bottom so we can cancel it out. One mole of neon is what mass? Grams, periodic table. 20.2. 20.2. Alright? And then one mole of neon go down here. What do we know about mole and atoms? One mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. So that's that. The unit moles cancel out. Okay. And then we take the numbers on top, multiply the top. 87 times 
6.02 times 10 raised to the 23rd. I can put equal and then divide, or I can divide with it, divide by 2.20.2, .2, and I get 2.59 times 10 to the 24th atoms of neon. And that's how you do that one. Okay, so these are two steps with three three train tracks. So make sure you follow this. Practice, practice, practice. Practice enough, you'll be just fine. Okay, so you go ahead and do this, and I'll show you the answers in a little bit so that you can check your work. All right, these are my answers to these problems here. Number four is 2.62 times 10 to the 24th. Number five, 1,868.8 grams of water. Number 667.7 grams of CO2. Number seven, 2.03 times 10 to the 24th. Formula units of sodium. Okay, sodium chloride, NaCl. So there you go. And so good luck, try it, do that. And your assignment, for the remainder of class today, or continue as you continue, is to do the next page here. You should be pretty comfortable with all these now. Okay, mole particle conversion is just moles to atoms, pretty good. Molecules that say how many atoms of H2, number four, number five here. You got to take an extra step once you get to molecules. So I'll show you that, number four. Here you go. How many atoms of hydrogen? So we start 2.25 moles of H2CO3. Then we get one mole of that is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of H2CO3. And it's asking for hydrogen atoms specifically. So we say one molecule of that H2CO3 is how many hydrogens are there? Two hydrogen atoms. Okay, and that's how you do that one. You extend that once you get to molecules, you gotta go in each molecule has two hydrogen atoms as well. So it's a little more challenging there. So you have to do that one, that extra step, okay? That applies to number five as well. Follow the same thing, carbon tetrachloride. You should have the formula for that, so write out the formula for that. And as you go down here, there's one more concept. So complete the first part, complete the second part. And there's one more concept I want to introduce here is a mole volume. So mole here volume, one mole of any gas, we talk about gas, is equal to 22.4 liters. Okay, that's how much space it'll take up. That's how much volume it will take up in one mole of any gas. So determine 0.3 moles of gas at STP. So 0.03 moles of gas. And then so one mole is equal to 22.4 liters. Right? One mole is equal to 22.4 liters. That's how you find the that's how you find the volume. And when you start with liters on number two here, 11.2 liters, then you know liters go down here. What do we know about liters? 22.4 liters is one mole of that argon gas. Argon. All right. Pretty simple there. So you should be able to do number three. Get the answers to these. Don't just leave them blank. Okay. I'll be looking for those specifically. And then uh, the page on the back. It's going to mix up everything with that moles. So Moles can go go a different a couple of different ways now. All right, moles can go a couple of different ways. So moles always in the middle, and go back and forth between particles. And that you use six point oh two times ten to the twenty third. Correct. It can go to. It can go to grams. Which is the mass, and you use the molar mass. Okay, and it can go back and forth between volume, the liters, and you use 22.4 liters. 
22.4 liters. Okay, so know what you have. Everything has to go through the mole. The mole needs to be in the middle. Okay, grams and particles. If you have molecules, you can also go to atoms from that. Okay, molecules, you can go through atoms. So, for example, C6H12O6. One molecule of this, you can go, you can also get six carbon, 12 hydrogen atoms, or six oxygen atoms. That's what it means right here. And that's that little extra step that you need to take. So, with this in mind, go ahead and complete the last page here. It's going to mix, be a mixture of everything. So, it's always important to know what you're given. Giving here's your, your leaders, and you want to find molecules. So, Always know what you're given and what you're trying to get to. So complete this. I'll post the answers soon. And you should have that done. And we are done with the mole unit here. It's pretty nice. Pretty nicely done. Bye.